Hey, it's Paul here on The Friendly Viewer. On this channel, we keep you up to date with the latest on the Netgear Orbi. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. In this video, we're gonna be talking about Back to the Future Part Two. And you may be wondering, what does that have to do with the Netgear Orbi? And if you've been following along, you'll understand why. And I need a post-it note because I'm losing track of all these version numbers because they're jumping all around. So in my last video, I joked around about Back to the Future Part One because we're in that movie they jumped back in time, and they went from 2.1.2.18 all the way back to 2.0.1.4. So we jumped really far back in the version history in an attempt to get a stable firmware version for the Orbi. And March 23rd, 2018, Netgear released a little note, and it's not out there, and it's not gonna be pushed to your routers or anything, but there is a version in there that you can update if you have the AC3000. That means if you bought the RBK50 or RBK53 kits and have the RBR50 and RBS50s, then you can go out and grab this from the link below and do a manual update if you wanna try this beta version out. If you have any mixture of the other Orbeez in there, do not do this. And what this is gonna give you is it will have the circle with Disney in it. It'll also have that wired backhaul, so all those features are in there but it also has some stability improvements and fixes in there. And so what you'll see is a list of things here. So uh, number one is some connectivity and RF improvements. Uh, number two is that they will fix some of the stability issues with the satellites losing connections with the routers. Number three is it's supposed to fix the issues where certain devices have internet access and others don't. And number four is the issue where people say they're having websites that say unreachable or unmanaged. So if it fixed all of these, we're gonna be probably sitting pretty well and hopefully it's a very stable version. I updated the day after, so I've been only on it for three days. It's been up and running very solid since then, but time will tell because again, three days isn't really enough to do a full test on this. So let's hope and cross our fingers that over time here that this is a solid, stable version and that we're not going back in time again because I really hope that we don't have a Back to the Future Part 3 because if you remember in that movie, they went way back in time and I'm not ready to do that again. So this has been Paul with version 2.1.3.4. Thank you for watching.